community coming together to support a family after they lost everything in a house fire early Easter morning in Sweet Valley. A cornhole tournament today at Morgan Hills Restaurant and Golf Course in Hunlock Creek to raise funds and collect donations for that family. Fox 56's Leisha Hercules was there and tells us more on the support the family received. During today's fundraiser, Kristen Kachansky's family became emotional when seeing the outpouring of support for their family with familiar and unfamiliar faces bringing donation and words of support. The fundraiser for the family of four not only raised money for the family, but also helped the family collect clothing donations to replace items lost after the fire. Jamie Walsh, one of the organizers of the fundraiser, says that the community's outpouring of support has made a major difference for the family. This is what we do. This is what our community does. Uh, we've had a lot of tragedies strike our area in the back mountain here, and we always get together and bring people together to support families that are struggling. Today's fundraiser saw a major turnout from the community, but it was also supported by many local businesses in the area. When something like this happens, the businesses all come together and we help the family in need. It doesn't matter what business it is. Small businesses across the Back Mountain had baskets to be raffled off during the fundraiser with some of the businesses donating tents to the event. Bernadette Morgan, one of the owners of Morgan Hills Golf Course, tells me that after knowing this family for many years, it's heartbreaking to see them go through such a tough time, but she is thankful for them receiving so much support. It's horrible, especially when you have little children involved. And it's not about replacing their home because we can't do it. We can't replace their memories. It's, it's not a matter of replacing the big things. It's the little things that cost a lot. Reporting from Hunlock Creek, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10. For more information on how you can support this family, visit this story on our website.